how to draw backgrounds for complete beginners. In case you're not familiar with creating backgrounds, there are a few key elements that we must consider to make a convincing background for your art. Overlapping, 3D objects, space, perspective, and composition. My pal Pikachu here will be your assistant for today's video. Let's do this, Pikachu. Pika, Pika. Overlapping. Overlapping is probably the easiest thing to explain for a beginner, so I'll show you what it is. If you take a look at these two objects, can you instantly tell me what's wrong with them? If you thought, hey, those objects are intertwined together, they're supposed to be two separate things, then yes, you're right. These two objects have been fused together like some kind of alien experiment gone wrong. We need to show that objects and people can and will overlap each other. That's better. As long as we understand that all objects will appear behind or in front of another object, we can start to distinguish the idea of space. 3D objects. Now when you begin drawing for the very first time as a kid, usually you'll start at the level of stick figures, drawing houses, people, animals, etc. So what's the biggest difference between the stick figures and the fully rendered images? The concept of 3D form. If we want to take our flat drawing and make it into something with real depth and dimension, we need to understand that everything has a full 3D form. A great way to help you create 3D objects is to use construction lines when you begin your drawing. When we find an object that we want to draw, we can break it down into its simplest forms and then use our construction lines to show the inside and outside of the shape. Then we can finish the drawing by erasing the construction lines that we don't want and adding shadow. When you're drawing backgrounds like a cityscape, you're going to want to know what your shapes look like on all sides. This is why knowing what your subject looks like from any point of view is going to be important. Space. Including a sense of space in your backgrounds is also important. Objects that are farther away from the viewer, for example, are going to appear smaller, and objects that are closer are going to appear bigger. One of the best ways to get a sense of space in your backgrounds is to use a grid. A grid can help you locate different spots in your drawing, where you can place your objects. Using a grid in combination with perspective lines can really help you nail down an accurate looking drawing, which leads me to my next point. Perspective. Perspective would be the angle or direction at which your whole image is made. There are four kinds of perspectives. One point, two point, three point, and four point perspective. In first point perspective, you will mark a single point on or off your drawing and create construction lines that lead right back to that single point. You will then follow those construction lines to place your objects within them. The first point perspective is great for a frontal view of an environment. Second point perspective involves two points instead of just one. Second point perspective is great for showing a front and side view of an environment at the same time. Third point perspective involves three points. This is mostly used to emphasize the size of your objects in a drawing, like skyscrapers or, or buildings. Fourth point perspective is all about four points. If you are interested to create a more distorted looking background, then a four point perspective can allow you to see an environment from a four dimensional point of view. Composition. Composition is essentially the way you set up your background in a fashion that is pleasing to the eye. If you want to make the best kinds of backgrounds, composition is going to be important to study and practice. When you are brainstorming what kind of background to draw, one of the very first things you should determine is what your focal point will be. What's the main idea? Where do you want your viewers to focus on? Who or what is the center of attention? Once you determine that, the next thing you should do is decide the angle or perspective that you want your drawing. Okay, so here we have Pikachu and we have the kind of environment we want him to be in. Let's say we want him to be sitting on a rock and we want the viewers to be looking up at him. Perfect. Now the only thing missing is to add some other elements in the background to draw attention to our focal point, which is Pikachu. Let's try adding some foliage and maybe some other Pokemon looking up at him. Now by just doing that, we can see a direction or flow in the drawing which guides us to our focal point. This is an example of a background that has a good composition. Now a last few things to know about composition is that you can have more than one focal point. Here are some example images that I found on the internet that shows more than one area of interest. 
Another thing to note about composition is that there are different elements besides flow and direction to consider when creating a good composition, such as unity, balance, movement, rhythm, emphasis, contrast, pattern, and proportion. The rule of thirds is also another important tool that you can use for making backgrounds and compositions. If you want me to discuss more in depth about composition, perspective, or creating 3D drawings, I can create a whole series of videos that can go more in depth about these subjects, because there is a lot more to understand than what I covered here in this short video. So let me know down below in the comments if you were interested in studying those. Until then, stay rockin' guys.